Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can authenticate an API. So first question is that uh, why we need to the API authentication? The simplest answer is that on normal website we have to use a session for check that the user is authorized or not. But in the API we cannot use a session because they are stateless so that we have to use the token and token will something like this. Okay. So when you just get the token that this is a token and you will pass inside the header and you will get the result. Otherwise, if uh, you don't provide the token, then it will not going to give the result. All right. And this is the things that we are going to achieve at the last of this video. All right. So now let's uh, start with the second point Then how we can authenticate the API for that. You have to use the Laravel passport package. Uh, you can use this and in the introduction of this package you can check that we can use this package in the API introduction uh, API authentication and blah blah you, for details you can read here all right okay so now I just want to tell one more thing uh, this is my uh, POC on the Laravel so if you can uh, check the code from here then you can also check and some code I'm just going to copy and paste from here not all but some code so that we can save the time all right so now let's start with the code. So first of all, you must have to uh, configure your database with the MySQL, uh, configure your Laravel with the MySQL so that you can interact with the database. For that, if you are not even know the basics, then you can go our uh, another video for configuration. The link is given in the description box. Okay. So for that, we have to only provide the three things, database name, root and the password. My database name is YouTube. And let's open the PHP my admin and check that is it fine or not okay so this is my database name but there is no table because we have to migrate the tables okay so now let's go for the next step for that the first step is we have to install the Laravel passport package for so that just right here composer required required Laravel slash passport and just uh, passport now just hit the enter and it will take just around uh, three to four minutes according to the internet speed so for that time uh, I'm just going to pause this video so that we can save the time yeah that's in store now the sec for the second step we have to go on the code and just uh, Click on the config folder and after that just go on the app.php uh, alright and here you just just have to your uh, passport package inside the uh, uh, services so just co copy the previous one and you can just change it here passport alright okay and this is not the official package so that you just have to uh, put here laravel and uh, passport and the passport service provider all right this is the second step and after that you have to use the two more commands one for the migration migration so just write here php artisan migrate and just hit the enter and it will start the migration and around nine tables are going to be migrate inside your database after this process is complete i will check the php my admin and just click on the youtube database which is configured here you can see that the nine tables are here okay and after that you have to use the one more command which is the php artisan passport and slash install and it will create a simple secret key for the client right that's it now let's move on the next step for that you just uh, go again your code and uh, just go on the app http and just go on the users.php okay and here you have to uh, use the one more package for that uh, just use here use laravel laravel spell it right okay so now just passport and after the passport just use your hash api hash api API yes token mm -mm. 
G O T E N. Not token. Tokens. All right. After using this, uh, just copy this one and choose inside the class and put the comma here. Okay. So okay, this step is also clear. And for the next step, you have to go on the auth service provider and where you will get it. For that, you have to go inside the app providers click on the auth service provider and here you have to use the three things first thing is uncomment this model then uh, okay you have to add the use the one more package just use here use laravel passport oh, okay passport and after that put the same thing passport this is the package name okay Mm, perfect so now just go here uh, go below and just use here passport and in the passport colon routes and uh, this will be provide the passport to the routes uh, of, of the apis just use it in as a function and put the columns okay and for the next step you have to go on the auth.php all right so just simply go inside the config right click on the auth.php first thing just remove the hash false perfect and the second thing is you have to use a driver as a passport with the small p perfect this is also done now uh, let's move on the uh, next step all steps are completed here and you can check that to reload this page if there is an any error then you must have to skip some step or uh, maybe you just misspell something here okay let's try to reload it this is perfect that means everything is okay for that uh, api token configuration is ready now you have to make the routes and just uh, write route make a controller and just uh, make the registration and login function okay and for that code, I am just going to simply on my POC package for the save the time. I am just copying and paste the routing and controller code. Okay, so you can uh, this link of uh, this package is given in the description box. You can also get this code from the my repository. Okay, so just copy this code from here, and you have to go on the just close the packages on the on on the routes folder and just click on the api.php the comment is all uh, the code some code is already there so that you can comment it and make the new code here okay so let's check this code you can check the api registration code and after that there is a middleware and inside the middleware there is the api which is the detail that means you can access those api without the token and you can choose this api with the token okay the reason of using this without token because in the registration time and the login time we cannot have the tokens we have to make the token after registration and login okay so and there is a no specific information is also there okay so after getting the token from one of them api we will able to use the detail api all right so this is also ready now i'm just going to make a controller and uh, my controller name will be gonna user controller because i'm just copying the this code okay or you can just uh, make the whole cop uh, get the whole code here but i'm just going to make the controller first of all just write here php artisan make controller and just paste this one and now you can see that we got the a controller where inside the http controllers this is my here okay to distinguish the all apis uh, i already made a folder with the name of apis okay so i'm just going to put it the api inside this folder so that my all apis can be inside the api folder this is not required you can also call this outside that but this is also good that your api should be inside a single folder okay so after that i'm just going to make the copy and paste the code yuppie 
so why because we can save the time also and sometimes i just uh, do some mistakes of writing the whole code but don't worry i will explain you the whole code okay so just put the package name here okay so there is an api namespace of uh, this package and after that request for getting the request from the postman and controller is obviously there is a controller the user this is coming from this model which we provide the uh, hash api token this is actually model right and uh, after this authentication for check that authori authorization and validation is provided for uh, sometimes we just put the wrong username or we just put the field blank also okay so now let's uh, go for the next step so now i am just going to use a registration code first of all okay so just getting this code copying from here and pasting here here you can see that there is a simple registration function okay let's uh, make it formatted for in and let's make some space uh, this is for validation and this is totally up to you if you want to use then that's okay otherwise you can just delete this code also okay this is totally for the uh, form validation you can see that and after that we got the all request we decrypt the passport password so that password should not be uh, clear inside the database okay and we will create the user simply and after that we will get the token inside my response okay and one more thing uh, you can just uh, put one uh, response also here okay you can just put it directly here because uh, when we just got the success result then uh, api should be written 200 as in status okay so this is uh, ready and this is my postman i already called some apis so i'm just going to remove them first of all okay and when i just hit this you will see that inside my database we will got some entries also now the user table is blank okay so now let's come back to here and make the post because the registration API is the post and uh, in the body we have to put the three fields minimally because you can see that we have the name, email address and password and password should be the confirm. Okay. So let's make the field the name name can be Peter. Peter is my favorite name because I love Spider-Man and email address and email address be like um, peter at the rate test.com don't mail to the spider-man please uh, pass password and password is like spider spider and confirm password okay so just put here c underscore password and just try to hit and 99% uh, this should be work in one case it should not work then I will check the whole code okay yeah 100% it is it's working so here you can uh, see that we got the token here all right and let's check the entry we got the one entries also here that's that's perfect okay so after that uh, now let's uh, try to access the detail api because this is provided inside the uh, controller so let's access this but before that we have to copy and paste the code this for this also so this is my code simply for this api and put it here and in this function which we actually got we just have a detail function in this we just got the uh, details of user auth colon colon user okay so let's try to access this in the next tab but we cannot access this api i'm just already telling you because we have to do for something it so just write here details and just try to hit it and now you can see that it give the error login root is not defined okay because we did not provide the token here so for that let's make a token just get this token from here and uh, go on the header and just put here authentication and put here bearer and put this token and now try to hit okay so 
still an error let me check yep i just figured out the issue uh, we just have to use your capital b only and it should be work now okay so now you can see that we got the data from that okay so this is about that how we just uh, make a registration and how we just uh, uh, get a detail from this but how we can do the login for the login also i'm doing the same thing first of all i just need to get the code from login from here so that uh, we can save the time okay so now let's put it there now uh, okay so this login is also here so what in the login what we are just going to do we just we get the email address and password and after that it will just authorized and just uh, gives the result that uh, as in token right so now just uh, perform this also so just write here login and the login is also as in post type so just go inside the body and just write here email and email is peter at the rate let me check what is the email address test.com and uh, what is the password button from here spider okay spender i, I just put it spender or oh, sorry it should be the spider but no issue for now so just put here spender and now you can see that you got the token and the same token you can still use here just copy it and uh, just try to put it here just put it here bearer and just put the token also here now you can see that we got the same result again okay so you can result the another user also if you want here and you can get the some help from this repository also so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box please serve your uh, issues if you have any kind of issue and uh, provide your opinion if you have any kind of complaint if you have any kind of suggestion you can ask me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video